Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co, and this is Two Back or Not to Back, where we're going to go over all the crowdfunding campaigns, take a look at all the active, and if you're like, this is not the usual place I sit for my Two Back or Not to Backs, so you're not wrong. And if you're like, you look a little different than like, maybe your beard's a little longer, maybe you've gained a few pounds, lost a few pounds, I honestly don't know, because this is your April Fool's video. Today, yes, I know, it's a little bit confusing, right? I'm, I'm announcing at the start of the video this is your April Fool's video, which kind of ruins the whole surprise. The only thing that might be different is this video may have gone up earlier in the day or later in the day, I don't know. That part we can take a look at, but either it's like 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's like three hours before our two-back or not-to-back. The two-back or not-to-back will be up as usual. Things will be fine, everything's good. You'll have your regularly scheduled two-back or not-to-back, probably. There is the small chance that there's not enough crowdfunding campaigns to do a two-back or not-to-back, in which case... We'll figure it out, but this video is either replacing your two back and not to back earlier in the day or later in the day. You see, the problem is it's not really April 1st for me. In fact, right now it's um April 3rd. It's April 3rd currently for me, and I took a look and feel like the future, the future is calling. No, no, the past is calling. Right now it's April 3rd, 2023, and I didn't do an April Fool's video this year. I wanted to, but I was busy and I had an idea, but I didn't have enough time to execute an idea, and I was like, whatever, time will go by it's fine, we'll just film a video for next year instead. And so this is your April Fool's video, filmed April 3rd of last year, going up April 1st, 2024, which is sadly a Monday, which means it can't be my main video because Monday is too back and not to back, always except when it isn't. And when it isn't, I still try to make it about crowdfunding campaigns. So fine, so there you go, April Fool's, ta-da, I've done this video, now what? Like, and that's it, that's it, okay, I filmed a video a year ago, to what end? Like, what's the fun part of that? Where is the fun in filming a video a year ago? Well, to me, the fun is, I guess, selfishly, just kind of, right now, I'm going to talk about things going, that are going on, and things that I want to do, and ambitions I have, and things that I hope for over the next year, and then today, you get to watch this video, and maybe you'll know some of the things that have or haven't worked out, or not worked out, or changed, I, I don't know, we'll find out. Maybe, maybe I'll have this video file, and maybe I'll film an addendum, Maybe I'll like film a response, so like, maybe I'll be like, hey, this year I'm hoping to do X, and then I'll cut, and I'll have like future Alex being like, and he didn't. Like, may I don't know, I don't know. We can play around with it. My current goal is just to film this video. Whether I splice things in from current Alex to past Alex, we can figure that out. Now, I don't have a bullet point list, I don't have things to go over, but I'm going to talk about generally just life. And like one thing, I mentioned like, you know, whether I've gained a few pounds, lost a few pounds, I would love to lose a few pounds. I, I, I've fluctuated with my weight since I was in eighth grade. I've fluctuated with my weight. My weight has gone up. My weight has gone down. I want to say that maybe uh, a half a year ago, I was actually down 10 pounds. That's like around 165 or something like that. It's around 165, and, but maybe half a year ago from now, which means like 18 months ago from you. But then over the past six months, I think just a lot of travel has been happening and I've put on like 10 pounds. So currently I'm at like 178, which is the highest I've been in a bit. I mean, in a bit. I, I, I've been over 200 before, but probably I would say since doing YouTube, is 178 the highest I've been since doing YouTube? Probably around. I think I, I think the last time I lost weight was right before starting YouTube. And so then I dropped, I managed to drop from 200 down to around 160. And then I've played around with those. And then I went up 160, 170 pretty quickly, which is normal. When you stop losing weight, you do gain a few pounds. But then I was able to hold 170 pretty strong for a while. And then I put on like eight pounds in the past like six months just from like convention travel and just not having a standard set body thing. So as of right now, where I am today, I hope I'm down a few pounds. Now, whether I'm down, like, I might be up 10 pounds by next year, I have no idea, you can tell. I mean, honestly, if you're watching this video right now, just think through, like, how I've looked in the past few videos. Ha am I, have I put on weight from the past, like, weeks worth of videos? In which case, if I put on weight today, that means I've lost weight successfully. Good for you, Alex. And if not, then, um, well, hope hopefully this is not a weight loss video. Hopefully you don't look at this video and be like, wow, Alex used to be skinny. That would be a problem. Wait, weight's not been a, it's not a big deal, but I just like, I like... I like being skinnier, but I like food. So, like, there's that trade-off in life, and I don't know how to juggle that because I, I like being skinnier and I like food. I want both of those at the same time, and I haven't figured out how to achieve both of those at the same time. So, that's one ambition. The most vain of all the ambitions I have and the things going on. 
uh, as far as the general ch channel and like how things are, I have, like, for instance, let's just talk about like a few things that have happened over the past six months in the channel. Is so like you know Devin and Meg joined the channel ish around six months ago, somewhere in that range. Uh, you know, both doing videos in general. Like I think starting like, kind of around when I started doing my top ten of 2023, top 100 of 2022, and they started, they joined around then. They've been doing videos infrequently on and off, as well as Devin's doing being do, been doing preview content, and Meg's expressed an interest in doing preview content. I don't know what did or didn't happen in the past year but i'm curious i'm curious has preview content grown on the channel like has there been more preview content and to be clear i hope the answer is yes just sustainably speaking i hope the answer is yes my goal is to not ever have the channel be primarily preview content but ideally i'd want one or two like preview content type things a week because practically speaking those help pay the bills as far as well paying people and conventions and travel and all the expenses related to actually trying to do this for a living and practically speaking i don't want to run a kickstarter like i just think that running a kickstarter there's so much work involved in trying to do it properly with promos that I think it would take, I don't know, there's lots of balances as far as the ways you actually make things sustainable in life. And I'm hoping preview content is a way to go for the channel. Uh, Patreon's always great. I appreciate all of you. I do have a Patreon, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Um, and I appreciate all of you who are Patreons. I also do YouTube channel memberships. I appreciate all of you there as well. And then I appreciate, of course, YouTube ad revenue, which is another big factor as well. But uh, that all helps make it sustainable for me. But having additional people means uh, preview content's a big deal. So I'm curious how that worked out. If you haven't seen Devin in six months, that's another thing, by the way. You never really know how things how things go as far as working with people and like the danger, the danger of filming a video like this today is like, what happens if I stop working with Devin like six months ago? And now this is just like a kind of harsh reminder. You're like, huh, you're right. Devin did kind of disappear. I wonder what happened there. Do I still talk with Devin? Like if I haven't done stuff with Devin for a while, what's up with that? Like what happened there? Who knows? Or Meg for that matter. Same, same conversation. You never really know what, what happened as far as things. So if there's been any awkward splits there, Future Alex is going to have to edit this part of the video out so it's not awkward. For the record, if there was some weird, like, breakup with, like, Devin or Meg or whatnot, like, I probably would edit this video out or just not put it up entirely because who needs that kind of awkwardness in your life? But anyways, that's as far as uh, that. So, so I'm curious how that's evolved. I'm curious how it's evolved because, like, for a while there was a lot of videos happening... And then there's been less and less because of just so much convention travel. And we all have, we all live in different places. Uh, Devin, Devin, myself, and Meg, we all live in different places, which means there's a juggling act of trying to figure out when you're doing travel, when you can afford to travel for all the things you're traveling for and how much you can afford to travel for extra video content stuff. So always a juggling act. I'm curious to see the presence they've had on the channel for the past year uh, as to whether we've managed to stabilize that. Uh, speaking of traveling and conventions and all those things, what happened with the Level Up Retreat? Let me know. You see, the Level Up Retreat was something we did uh, July 14th through 16th of 2023. Uh, hopefully you went. Hopefully you had a great time. Hopefully it happened. For all I know, uh, plans got pulled. The whole thing got canceled. I have no idea. I'm living in the past. You're living in the future. But the Level Up Retreat, hopefully we had a good time. In fact, hopefully, if things really went well, the Level Up Retreat is happening this year too. 2024, sign up for the Level Up Retreat. I'll have a link down below to the Level Up Retreat for 2024. You can go ahead and join. And I have no idea if it exists. Like, genuinely, I have no idea if it exists. But if it does exist, I'll have a link down below. Because ideally what happened is we had the event, it went well, and we're doing it again this year. That's the ideal. Um, and in which case, I assume it's going to be July again, because I assume so. But I don't know anything about that. Uh, current Alex knows more about what's up. Current Alex has probably told you about the level of retreat already. But past Alex is ignorant past alex has no clue how that went and again hopefully it went decently can running conventions hard i can tell you right now at throwing in the extra juggling act of running a convention right now has just been a lot on my plate and it's it's a lot it's a lot in a way that i don't i don't have extra bandwidth for more stuff and so running a convention was something that i didn't sign up for but it is happening and i'm grateful for the fact that it, that's at least past alex is grateful future alex has no idea where things ended up so that's what we got. We got conventions. We got uh, people I'm working with. We got weight loss. What about games? So like as of right now, DEI is still Divide Dead Empire is currently the game that I really love the most right now in this moment of time. There's been a bunch of games that I've really enjoyed in a variety of ways. Uh, right now, I'm going through a large again. Right now is the past a year ago. I'm going through a large uh, board game arena spree right now. The past like month or two, and I'm curious about that held up. Like 2022. I, I've progressively, I've been logging my plays every single year, and my plays have crept up by like 100 games a year since I started logging in 2016. So I was like, it was like, you know, 600 plays, 700 plays, 800 plays. Like every year it goes up by about 100, roughly, almost consistently. And then this year, I'm pretty sure this past year, like 2023, if I'm not mistaken, probably jumped. Like I think in 2022, I had like 1,280 plays. 
I think I probably have over 2000 in 2023 because I went on a board game arena spree. Like I was playing for a long time. I was playing turn-based games, but I had like 10, 12, 10 to 15 games running simultaneously for a while, like every single day. And then be playing just like, you know, closing off a game, like in between stuff, I'd be like, I'll take a turn, I'll take a turn. And so I had a lot of games running and I was at a point where I was doing a few hundred games a month being played. I'm curious how that held up, but I would not be surprised if I was over 2,400 games played in 2023, which is going to make 2024 a hard year to beat. So like, again, I'll, I'll, some of these answers, I'll throw in maybe in comments, maybe in a pinned comment, maybe in sliced in videos. I'm curious how many plays I have locked for 2023. I'm guessing over 2,000, possibly if things went well around 2,400, or I stopped doing board game arena because I got off it. Maybe it was a temporary thing. Who really knows how these things last and don't last? Things change all the time. Like I've been on board game arena before and then stopped playing, so maybe it happened again. Who's to really say? Past that, what else is up? What else is going on? I don't really know what else is going on. Not a lot of things. Uh, this table might have changed. I'm this like the table in front of you may not be the game table you're used to seeing. Uh, I'm currently, I don't know. As of right now, when I'm doing this video, there is a possibility this game table gets sw swapped out for another one. And so it's not that I don't like this one; it's just that I like a different style slightly more. And so we'll see what happens there. But well, again, we'll find out. That's all future stuff. And then the approach to content. I wonder about a lot of things. Also, by the way, the shelves behind you. I don't know what does and doesn't change. Hopefully there's some I don't know, massive darkness here. Massive darkness maybe got moved to one of these cubbies. Maybe we rearranged some Mar Marvel zombies. We got only one box. We should have more boxes of Marvel zombies. Uh, for all I know, we have Zombicide White Death. It's not here yet. It's definitely not here yet. But we might have Master of the Universe. That could well be here. So some of these boxes behind you may have changed and shifted and adjusted in different ways. I'm very curious to see how that goes. But the general, general gaming stuff doesn't change a lot past that. I've been doing... A lot of solo plays this past year. I've been having a harder time playing area control games, like large area control games. Anything that requires four to five players, it's been happening far less frequently this past year. Happens, but just less frequently. I'm currently going through a bit of game fatigue, which is not, I'm not exhausted with the hobby at all. I'm just, I find that I keep playing new stuff and like so much of the new stuff, I'm like, it's good. I liked it. I had a good time. Awesome getting rid of you. Like less and less stuff sticks with me in a way that I'm like, I want it. Like I, I play a lot of your games and only a handful stick around. I'm curious which one's made the cut. I'm curious if Ark Nova is still here. Ark Nova by now I should have played. I should have definitely given Ark Nova a few more plays by now and determined whether I want to keep it or not. Like something about Ark Nova and Earth, uh, two incredibly popular games. I like them both, but they did not land with me the same way they landed with others. And some that's okay, by the way. Not all games have to be for everyone, but there's always that sense of missing out on things that I just... There is that sense of missing out. Like I kind of want to enjoy everything that everyone is enjoying and see how that goes. I don't know. What else can I talk about? What else is there even possibly to talk about? I play board games. I, I do board game videos. That hasn't changed significantly in the past three years. The set changes a bit. The lighting changes a bit. In fact, my usual lighting back here is not on some of my lighting's not on here i just you know what alexa now recording the spotlight's gonna go off i have to turn that back on give me a second alexa turn on spotlight there we go that's the usual setup there we go so now we still got some more backlights a little brighter background that's the proper filming setup i just didn't bother changing it because it was late at night and i was like i have to do my april 1st video for next year we have to talk about it what else can i talk about there's, got, there's games. There's games. I, I, I love this hobby. I love the games that I play. So many of them are games that I love and adore and stick around every single year and show up in my top 100 time and time again. Every single year from the hundreds of new games I play, there's like, I don't know, 10 to 30 that stick around for various degrees. Some of them stick around for like, like they become forever games locked in. Uh, nothing's forever, forever, but they, they get locked in. And others are there for like seven, eight months or not a year and then they move on. There are lots of games I fall in love with and lots of games I move on from. The hobby hasn't fully changed in any major ways uh, conventions are a big deal i love hanging out interacting and just being in the board game space how awkward would it be if i have no channel in a year like what happens if there's no channel in a year i don't even know what that means what does that look like why would i have no channel i don't know the answers what if i'm dead hopefully not that would be bad that would be awkward and morbid i mean the video would probably go up because i'm going to schedule this this is going to be scheduled in my youtube schedule stuff and it's going to be like ready to go although if i'm dead there'll be no thumbnail so um apologies for that I've often wondered about doing like future videos, like, you know, things like what if bad things happen. The problem is it's great for a laugh, but the laugh's not entertaining for me. I'm gone. The laugh's only entertaining for others, and then it's just weird and morbid. So is that really entertaining? The things I think about, it's 1 a.m., which is when I usually film this kind of stuff. Uh, I probably should be more careful. Tomorrow's a busy day. Uh, who am I kidding? It's always a busy day. It's always a busy day, but it's also been a good day. I've played like, I don't know, 
13 games today. While I felt like today was a good day. I filmed like 13 games. No, I played 13 games. This is the 8th video I'm filming. Either the 7th or the 8th video I'm filming today. And it's a Sunday. This is a Sunday for me, by the way. So, like, this is what my Sundays look like. And then I had a family movie night uh, with the kids. I, I watched Pirates of the Caribbean, the fourth one. For the first time, by the way. I've watched Pirates of the Caribbean 1, 2, and 3. I never watched 4. And so we're going through it with the uh, the kids. And so I got to watch the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean for the first time ever. And I'll watch the fifth one at some point. Maybe next week, two weeks. I don't know. But it's been a busy day. My Sunday is usually like that. Because Sunday, I don't have a... Sunday is a day where I can kind of just get things done. I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. I don't have more things. I didn't come in, like I said, I didn't come in with bullet points and that may have hurt me here because it means the time I spent time thinking about what, what past relevant things, not much changes. Listen, if the biggest change in this entire video is you're like, wow, Alex put on weight, meaning again, hopefully I lost weight, which makes this video look like I put on weight. That'd be great. And otherwise it's all okay. But weight's not everything. I can afford to lose a few pounds, gain a few pounds, but I'd rather lose a few pounds. Now, and then, and then, I mean, I could just get rid of a few board games that'd be dropping. If I get rid of Frosthaven, I'm losing 28 pounds right there. But also, if I count that as weight loss, then I probably weigh like 14,000 pounds. Either way, we're going to call it a wrap on this video. Later today, there'll be a two back and out to back. Probably, I imagine, statistically speaking, I would say like 46 out of 52 Sundays a year, I have a two back and out to back. Something like that. The other six, I throw in some other video because there weren't enough Kickstarters or crowdfunding games to look at. In any case, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. Enjoy your two back and not to back. Enjoy this video from past Alex. I'm going to keep... This is seltzer, by the way, just for the record. It's not alcohol. This is seltzer. I mean, it could be alcohol. I could be lying to you, but it is seltzer. I just... I usually do only do alcohol with friends around, so... And there's no friends around. I'm alone in my basement. Everyone else is asleep. I'm having a good time. I debated, for the record, I debated doing a chaos stream right about now. I was like, I'm going to do a chaos stream. And then I was like, it's late and I can't be up for an hour. And if I do a chaos stream, I might be stuck for an hour. So I'm going to finish my seltzer and call it a wrap. Uh, enjoy your two back and not to back later today, probably. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Co., and I hope you have a good one.